show you a difference between the serve of Roger Federer, ATP player, and someone I have up on the right here, WTA player. So you're going to see a lot of similarities, and I think in particular, we'll go through this slow motion here. Um, you see at this point, they're both kind of rocking back. Simona is a little bit further along. Uh, I do have this timed up to be correct, uh, or synced up at their point of contact. So it won't be synced up until then. So you can see a little difference. Simona's left foot is coming up. Her toe is definitely up. Uh, Roger's hands are still below the waist. Simona's already upward. And what I want you to pay attention to, don't look at the moving parts, which is the arms. That's easy. I want you to look at um, the lower body, particularly the waist. When I look at Simona Halep here and I look at this area, there's really very little coiling or bending. It's pretty much still. At this moment, her, um, her waist and her um, legs haven't really done anything for her. Now you can see she's much further along. She gets to this position. She's going to get into a little unusual position here pretty quickly. See the toss is up. Um, now you watch Federer. Federer's still lagging behind. You see a little difference in Federer's um, ball toss here uh, is actually kind of behind the baseline. Uh, that's kind of an important thing. It doesn't quite go as far forward into the court. So let's keep going because right here you're going to see something very important. Federer's left palm is up. His right palm is down. Uh, whereas you see Simona is much further along in the serve. And now watch again Simona not getting very much out of her legs here. You can see here in the next several frames Roger starts to bend here. His legs are bending. Simona's already transferred her weight forward. You can see her rear leg uh, is unweighted. It's going to be sliding up in the pinpoint here in a second. But at this stage right here if I stop this and you look at Simona Halep on the right here this just looks a little weird to most people you know if you were to hold that position here and say this is how I want you to get to um, I don't think a lot of coaches would say that's right conversely you see Roger with a little bit more his right hand the palm is still down his left hand is still up so let's watch this go a little bit further and you're gonna see Simona doing what we call the pinpoint in other words her Simona's feet have come together down here. Uh, Roger's feet, you notice, have not. So that's just preference. I don't think one's correct and one's not correct, but there's a lot of pros doing it either way. Um, at this point, Simona is going to start um, getting into a more of a trophy position. So keep your eyes there. Most people won't say that's a great position to be in. And now look at her here. There is a little bit better, but the problem I see is when she gets into that trophy position, her racket, her racket here is already falling behind her head. So uh, if I back up just a little bit, you see where Roger's racket, conversely, is definitely up. Where Simona's, if I go forward, is definitely more that way. So I would say that's one of the problems uh, in this particular comparison. From here on forward, you're going to see a lot of positive things. So here's Simona finally pushing off. I don't think she does a great amount of um, help from her body, uh, her, her waist and her legs. You know, it looks here like she's launching up. By the way, what I do like here in both players, they're going to be leading with this elbow. That's the first thing to go forward. You see it there and you see it there. A lot of people don't get that. Um, so we're going to keep going to the point of contact. I got these guys synced up. There's the point of contact for both players. Now they look kind of similar. Fredder's maybe a little bit more sideways still. And then the point of contact. Now watch the what happens here. And this is a very important thing. So us coaches think wrist, you know, wrist, wrist snap, all these words that are a little bit problematic. What really happens, you can see here on, on Roger's bracket, uh, this is the side that he hit the ball with, so is that. Okay, so if I back that up, back here, that racket, the side that we're going to be seeing is facing the other way. Then it faces forward, and now that same side they hit is now facing the camera. All right, so that's super important. I think a lot of people don't get that. So I'm going to suggest that the way that happens is not with wrist snap. You can see Roger here in this position. You don't see his wrist is particularly bent. Uh, what's really happening is um, more up in here. This part of his arm is rotating. Um, some, some coaches would call that that long axis rotation. 
that's really what happens to the arm. So I would be, as a coach and a player, be weary of thinking too much here. You can see in both these players, their wrists have not bent. You don't see a hump in either of these players' wrists. And if we take it forward all the way to the end, I'm going to clear out of those circles. Here's their landing. You can see that Roger and Simona both land inside the court. And at this point, they don't look all that different okay, on their finishes. But I think the major difference I see is Simona has an unusual trophy position. She gets to this uh, trophy position right back here that looks pretty awkward to most coaches right there. I'm going to say maybe right there. Whereas Roger has more of a traditional, you know, trophy position. And again, the big takeaway, uh, if I was working with a player, uh, I would make sure that they are really making sure that their knees and their waist are turning and bending. Okay, so they can kind of um, go down into the court and then that unwinding is where they get a lot of power. So. That's a technical video for you, and I thought you might like to see the difference between those two great players' serves.